hands off to the side. And basically what it says is the sine of any angle over its opposite side will equal the sine of any other angle over its opposite side. So I don't even have to use this one in the middle. I can go straight to sine A over A equals sine C over C. Or I can use B and A, or I can use B and C. doesn't matter. As long as I am putting the sine of one angle over its opposite side. Because what we're going to do is 
when we get rid of the sine to undo the sine, we have to take the entire side and use that inverse sine, that sine to the negative one. We have to take the entire side and do that. So if we do that with the nine attached, it's gonna mess up our answer. So first thing we wanna do is actually divide this, divide the nine out so all that we have left on this side is sine t. So 6.578 divided by nine is only thing we have left now is this sign. How do I get rid of it? Use a second sign, which gets us our inverse sign, which looks like this. Type in our decimal. Forty-seven degrees. Now that we have the forty-seven, how do I figure out what S is? Okay, subtract the one ten and the forty-seven from one eighty. And our missing angle is 45.5.